there are a lot of con uh, misconceptions and uh, there is a lot, of, a lot of confusion about who were the Vanaras. Some people think that they were monkeys, others think they were apes or uh, Neanderthal man, you know, all sorts of ideas. If you look at the words used by Valmiki, it's actually very clear that the Vanaras were humans. Their capital city, Kishinda, is described as Hrishta Pushta Jana Kirna. Jana Akirna. Jana means people. He also uses the word Purusha, Nari, Stri, to refer to the Vanaras and Vanaris. Clearly, he was referring to humans. But these people also lived in the forest. And so the words used by Valmiki are Vanacharina, Vanaukasa, Kananaukasa, etc. All of them mean people who roamed in the forest, lived in the forest. But of course, the confusion arises for two reasons. One, they had a tail. And so where did that come from? Also, the words used by Valmiki, on one hand, he's called Jana, Nari, Stri, Purush. But he also uses the words Vanara, Plavangamaha, Shakha Amrugaha, Plavamana. All of these mean monkeys. And Sugriv, Kapiraj, Kapishwara, Hariraj, which means the leader of the monkeys. Now note, all of these are descriptive words. So, uh, Plavangamaha means those who can leap. Shakha Mrugaha means Shakha, branch, Mrugaha, animal, animals who are on tree branches. All of them are typically used to denote monkeys. So why was he using these words? Well, these forest dwellers actually took an effort to look like monkeys. Even today, we have forest communities who dress up in a particular way. They may put up horns on their head or wear feathers uh, to look like a particular bird or animal, any natural force that they look up to. The Vanaras took the effort to look like monkeys. They put on a tail and most likely they also put on something on their head like a face mask. But it was something that they could remove. So this attire could be removed. In fact, the first time when if you were to stay you know, the Ramayana, the first time the Vanaras would come uh, on stage in a significant way is when Ram and Lakshman are going south from Panchavati looking for Sita and they come near the region of modern day Hampi where uh, atop the Rishamuk mountain, Sugriv and Hanuman are watching them come closer and Sugriv wants Hanuman to go and find out who they are. And he tells them to go and talk to them. And Hanuman goes, but as per Sugriv's instruction, he takes off his monkey attire. Kapi Rupam Parityajya. So he takes off his monkey attire and goes and talks to them. In fact, this attire is something that is referred to in other places also. It was something that they could take off. So these Vanaras were essentially, no doubt, people who roamed in the forest, lived in the forest, and dressed like monkeys. And Another uh, misconception about the Vanaras sometimes is that perhaps they were a different race or their intellectual and cultural traditions were different. But Valmiki shows that in fact they were not a different race and their intellectual and cultural traditions were common to the people who lived in the villages and the cities. Uh, <clears throat> as far as descent goes, the Vanaras were descendants of sometimes rishis. So sons of rishis could become a vanar if they wanted to live in a forest. Valmiki gives a particular example. There was a rishi uh, called Marichi and his sons became vanaras. They adopted the forest lifestyle. And uh, the, among them was Archishman. Uh, Maharshiputram Maricham Archishmantam Mahakapim. That's the phrase he uses. As sons of rishis, of course, they were not racially different from the people of the villages or towns. And even Ravan, he was a descendant of uh, Rishis as well. His father was a Muni. So they were not culturally different. Uh, they were not racially different. Culturally also, they uh, had the same practices. Hanuman is Sarva Shastra Visharada. He knew all the Shastras. He was an expert on the Vedas. Not only Hanuman, Tara too. Uh, Sugriv is called Dharmadnya. He knew Dharma. So... The Vanaras were not really that different 
apart from the way they dressed. Unfortunately, we try to uh, slot them into some modern template and that's where the confusion arises. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.